Hello, Star Wars fans. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Archive Collection. Tuscan Raider, made by Hasbro. Take a look at the packaging here. The packaging is a standard Star Wars The Black Series Archive Collection packaging. You get the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilms. You get the name here. You get the image of the character here. Which they did really not too bad of a job with the artwork. You can see the window exposing the figure and the accessories. Hasbro logo right there. On the bottom, there's a UPC in case you want to look for this guy for yourself. On the back here, here's a read-up bio about the Tuscan Raider. If you want to read it, go ahead, pause the video. And celebrate the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilms. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's release the Tuscan Raider out of the package. Here we got a Tuscan Raider out of the package. Well, this is like the um, second time that we have a Tuscan Raider action figure from the Black Series line. The first was basically the um, the 40th anniversary of New Hope version of the Tuscan Raider. Which that's fine because you can actually make an army build. So I don't have both the like the original and the Black Series box. On the 40th anniversary, so this is the first time I own a Tuscan Raider. Normally, I don't buy like characters who appear as extras or appear like less screen time in the movie or just minor characters. Like the Tuscan Raider itself, they're just like well, background characters in the in the um, the A New Hope movie and the prequels from Episode One and Two, where in Episode One trying to sabotage the the Paw race. And also in episode 2, where they were killed by Anakin Skywalker. But now they became important important characters in the Mandalorian episode, both season 1 and 2. And now it's like, oh, now I'm definitely getting the figure. And so here we have the Tusken Raider. Let's take a look at the figure here, starting off the head sculpt here. My goodness, the head sculpt here, they did really not too bad of a job with the head sculpt. Even though this is a reuse version of the other Tusken Raiders figures that Hasbro has made previously but like I said I don't have any any of them but they did really do a really a nice job with this figure yeah not too bad not too bad at all you can see like the little horns there sticking out there you get a little creepy looking eye mask there and you get a little creepy mouth breathing here and also there's a little tube there as well the cloth coat well to be honest Normally, I sometimes the cloth clothing looks good on the Black Series figures. Some of them looks awful on the Black Series figures. But to me, on the Tuscan Raider, eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Very well okay. They do really... Eh, it's not like bad as the, um, the Luke Skywalker in his little farmer boy outfit. Which kind of looks lame. Looks dull. And I'm pretty sure it's removable. You can actually take it off. And you move it here, you can see there's like some, like some of the, um, the bout, the pouches and everything and some gold paint, more pouches there with more gold paint of the buttons there. And get the more little wrinkles on the robe, sculpt them on there. And you can see like the little sleeves as well. And take a look at the hands here, you can see, see he is wearing the glove here, you get like the normal trigger finger holding hand. Uh, the other you get the little holding hand grip like so underneath the uh the little rope here you see the see he is wearing the pants with the little boots wrapped around bandages here take a look at the feet same thing on the legs and on the bottom there's some legal stuff and two pickles in the bottom of the feet as well overall for this figure I gotta admit, Hasbro did a really great job with this figure. Like I said, it is a reissue of the previous Tuscan Raider figures, but it's really not too bad. You can like, you can you feel guilty of buying more of these so you can make an like an army build. For articulation, the head does go fully rotate and does hinge. It doesn't go down. 
because it's hindered by this neck area there, but let's go up a little bit. The arms then does not go fully rotate because it's hindered by the fab the fabric coat there. But let's go in and out. Bend at the elbows, rotate at the elbows. The wrist do rotate. And you can hear the squeaking rotation line here. And the hands do hinge side to side. There's some some waist rotation, the little ball joint. So go side to side, up and down, rotate. Let's kick forward and back, in and out, upper leg rotation. Double jointed knees. Come on. Well, it can easily kick his own behind. The angles do go pivot forward and back, and ankle pivot side to side. Oh yeah, Sharnam is prime. We'll love that ankle pivot. Overall, for the articulation, just a standard Star Wars of Black Series articulation, but you can still make great possibilities with this figure. For accessories-wise, he does come with a few accessories. He does come with the um, his little rifle here, which he's trying to sabotage the uh, pod racing scene from episode one he can actually like put on the um his trigger finger holding hand he can either like put it on this like so come oh, on there we go just like that or you can actually like use a hair dryer so you can actually like put it on the in there like where the handle is like a normal shotgun just like so. Well, I can show you that because I don't want to break out the figure easily. Also, it does come with this little staff thing here. Which he only uses this to scare off Luke Skywalker and probably defend himself from others. And it's missing the little thing here because he does come with... Three alternate stems. You get that one that looks like an arrow. The other looks like with a little triangles. I don't know what these style look called. And I'm guessing this is supposed to be like the classic version of the stamp here. Like you can actually put them together. You can actually see the hole here. Let's put that and there we go. Let me do this off camera so I can actually put them in their hands. Seeing how they look. So I can display him with the that one scene from A New Hope. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. go and now you have the tuscan raider like trying to scare off luke skywalker from a new hope <laughs> overall for this figure well that is it for my review of the star wars of black series tuscan raider archive wave overall it's really a not too bad of figure although the cloth cape well the cloth coat it's not too bad. I mean, it fits perfectly well on him. I like the, uh, the the sculpt, the detail, and the accessories are not too bad. Well, the black, well, the articulation are pretty much exactly the same as the um, the black series version. Well, other black series figures, but you can make great posability with this figure. Yeah, Hasbro did a really great job for this figure. The sculpt, like I said, really great, and I highly recommend getting this figure. Or if you already have the the original or the 40th anniversary, you can either give you either give a figure a pass, or you can actually buy more of the archive 
Tuscan Raiders to make an army build, however do you like. For my rate, I'm going to give the Tuscan Raider Black Series figure a... I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and comment on this video. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos after you subscribe so you won't miss any new uploads and you can be part of the notification squad. And finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I can say. This is the Star Wars The Black Series Archive Collection. The Tusken Raider figure made by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, may the force be with you.